let's look at this uh, numerical on temporary annuity due a 20 year temporary annuity due one per annum issued to a life aged 50 <coughs> so express the expected present value of the annuity in terms of assurance function what is the express uh, expected present value of this annuity a double dot 50 colon 20 this is the expected present value of this annuity now i want to express it in terms of assurance function which is capital a so we know that a double dot of x always approximately is one my is one minus of ax divided by d because the other relationship we have brought is ax is nothing but one minus of d times a double dot of x using that I can very well express it like this, which means I could have got this as 1 minus of A50 colon 20 divided by D. Now I have to find out A50 colon 20, which is uh, both uh, endowment assurance kind of stuff. So there is a death benefit as well as maturity benefit. So I have A50 colon 20 with this one. Plus, I also have A50 colon 20 with uh, a survival. Now, this part can be found out as A50 minus of V per 20, 20 P50 times A70. And this can be uh, found out uh, simply with uh, V per 20, 20 P50. So, if I am uh, taking out like this, it becomes A50 plus, if I am taking off AB per 20 times 20P50 out, it is coming out as 1 minus A70. So, this is what I can very well find out and I get A5020, this part. Right, this part I am going to get, then I simplify by even computing the D. So, step by step, if I am looking at it, okay, taking it as the first problem. If I am looking at A50, what is my A50 from the table? A50 is working out to 0 0.32907. Then what about A70? A70 is working out as... 0.60097 so from here okay uh, i is one uh, i is uh, four percent so this is where i'll get my v as one by one plus i one by one plus i so from here i'm getting my v per 20 as this value to the power 20 and similarly, uh, I can find out uh, 20P50 as in terms of L50 and L70, I should be able to find out. So looking at the same AM92 tables, L50 is 9712.0728, whereas L70 from the same is 8054.0728. 0544 so from here i should be able to compute 20p50 which comes out as l70 divided by l50 divided by l50 gives me that this is 20p50 so now that we have all the ingredients for a5070 so i'll take it as a50 plus v per 20 times 20p50 v per 20 times 20p50 times 1 minus a70 so this is working out that my a5070 is going to be this much so i now i can find out d d is i by 1 plus i so i divided by 1 plus i so this is what is working out to be my d which means now i'll get a double dot 
50 colon 70 I can directly get it as 1 minus of a 50 70 divided by D which is this number working out to 13.51 we could have done the same even without conversion also right we know a 50 20 is nothing but a double dot 50 minus again uh, v power 20 20 p 50 a double dot 70 even this should lead me to the same answer so for that all i require is i require a double dot 50 as well as a double dot 70s values from the same table i can very well get a double dot 50 as 17.444 a double dot uh, 70 10.375 so based on these two i could very well try a double dot 50 colon 70 also which should come out a 50 minus v power 20 times 20 p 50 times a double dot 70 the even this is leading me to the similar slightly uh, at least after three four decimals there is a rounding off kind of an issue but both of them lead me to the same kind of solution so this is uh, a simple way where we are trying to do the linking up between the temporary annuity due uh, in relationship with an assurance function and doing the computations all right